We're in the W.W. Seymour Conservatory of Wright Park. We're a botanical conservatory that was built in 1908. We have hundreds of different plants from all around the world. Um, we're also one of three Victorian conservatories on the West Coast. We are a relatively small conservatory, but we try to pack a punch with a lot of, a lot of plants from all over. Often when we ask visitors, like, what is so important to you about the conservatory, they say, I just need a moment. Moment. I just need a moment of calm around greenery and foliage. Uh, I need to be transported to someplace different. And I think that's what the conservatory brings to our community. After 114 years, the conservatory really needed uh, a renovation. It needed to address some structural issues, the foundation, um, the wings were separating. We needed to brace those, which you'll notice they'll be cross bracing. And that is to support the building. Um, it was so important important to do that so we could continue for another hundred years serving our community. Uh, so the conservatory has had renovations um, around every 20 to 25 years um, to address the issues. I think this was the biggest one to address a lot of the um, a lot of the foundational issues and the heating system. Uh, so we our boiler was relatively old. It was you know born in the 90s and we needed and it was ineffective to heat the plants and care for the plants. And so that was also uh, important to do. But with that, we had the funds to really bring in some new exhibits. Uh, because we know we weren't able to expand the conservatory, like what can we do to really add to the atmosphere and the environment, to bring more interest to it, um, to really draw in our community, um, not only in Tacoma, from around. So uh, one of the things we put in was our living wall. And so our living wall is a hydroponic system and we're able to put in about 1,200 plants in the pockets uh, with, with the bigger living wall and the lower living wall and really bring in some different different plants and more plants um, since we are such a small conservatory we try to find all of the available space to um, fill it with plants. Um, so the rainforest vivarium is going to house um, all different plants, orchids, ferns, um, some really cool aeroid species, and then we're gonna have uh, poison dart frogs, um, which are not poison uh, because they have to eat a particular diet for them uh, to be poisonous. So the project itself cost a little over two million, and that money was from the 2014 bond, uh, voter bond that was passed, and then also from the Washington State Heritage Grant that we were awarded. You'll see that we're not quite ready, up and running. We're gonna be opening May 14th. Um, from 12 to 6, we're gonna have a huge celebration